Welcome to Symbol Tech Working Bench. Hello guys. Welcome back again. And how I promise I'm gonna start to build this kit, the preamplifier with vacuum tubes. And as I mentioned yesterday, I spent time just to pair to be sure that everything what I have in the left side it's it's the same in the right side. I measure with the multimeter to be sure that it show me exactly the same the same value and I pair them and are all components here pair them already so I also make a reverse engineering to made uh, the schematic because uh, the kit doesn't come with the schematic so I needed to make in some way to understand what I am doing so here I'm gonna prepare all the components that is coming in this pack that one is alone that one is alone I should have also one diode that is alone Diode. I should have one diode that is alone because everything what is pair. I'm gonna keep them paired to be sure that I'm wanting in the left side and the right side the same value. So resistors, resistors, resistors. This capacitor. Those two, I couldn't pair them, so I need to check if I can find something else. Just I can swap these ones because it's a bit huge difference in between. So definitely, if I use that one, one channel it will gonna sound me in one way. The other channel it will gonna sound me in another way. So the lamps they can go from here. These ones they can go from here just to have more space in order to set up all my things here. I just need to check online the data sheet for these transistors to understand base collector emitter because, as I mentioned on the other videos, I'm gonna use only the the vacuum tubes on the top of the of the PCB board and I want to solder everything else on the bottom like that uh, like that uh, I can keep all the way all the tube outside from the box that I'm gonna meant in the one box so that's why I want just tubes here and all the comp components from from the back side from the bottom side of the of the PCB board. So I prepare my helper for soldering. I prepare also a glass of wine. Yeah, everything is uh, over there. And solder iron. Let me turn on also my multimeter because I will gonna start with the resistors. So let's have a look. Uh, to start with these resistors over here but first I'm gonna wipe a bit with alcohol the, the board to be more clean when I'm soldering everything be more easy to solder the pads if are clean and degrease it when you solder you solder more easy Okay, let's give a wipe also from the other side. And 
original shot. That's it. And I'm gonna start with the, with the resistors. So let me see which ones I'm gonna start with. So let's have a look uh, with those of four seven K. So I'm gonna find all the four seven K and I'm gonna mount them here. So four seven K should be yellow, purple, red. So let's find them. No. Yellow, purple, red. One or two. How many there is? In the schematic, it shows me there is one, two. Three. And four. So one, two, three, four. So four. And then for the second channel, another four, another two, because here is not the channels. Channels there, so I need four over there. And here, how much you show me? So six in total I should have. Six, have eight. I have just eight. So let's start.
I finish everything to solder. So everything is soldered in place. Capacitors, the two watt resistors, the other small resistor transistor, and the vacuum tubes here on the top. And I think it's time to do a, a trial. For the moment, I just uh, solder temporary. Those are for output and those are for input. So I have ground, left and right channel, ground, left and right channel, no, ground is green, left and right channel. And for these two is uh, 12 volts AC coming in. So let's, uh, let's try to hook up to my amplifier for the moment to see how that uh, perform if it's giving me a good sound so we're gonna use some normal jack stereo wire here so let me just connect the ground for the input past the ground And let me just connect left and right channel. So this one is gonna go with this one. This with this, so this is going to be the input. Okay, I'm going to just uh, bring the input of my amplifier to connect to output from this preamplifier so this one is the input of my amplifier so two channels okay so I'm gonna just keep this cable here this kind of clips wire so that should be ground I'm gonna go ground here and connect to the ground here then I'm gonna use one channel here just the red one One of these so that I'm not touching also the ground. Okay, let's grab also the second channel. Just that one. Let's bring the cable from here. Okay. Comes here and attached to the other part of the signal, which is this one. I think with that one I'm done. Now I need to find my toroidal. So I'm gonna give a try with this one. Let me just grab a cable. Oh. This toroid up. So, find that screwdriver here to 
push this one a bit more inside. This one here. Let's plug. And the power is on. Let's try to let's try to check the voltage over there. AC. So in AC I have 11.34 So the voltage check is alright So I just need to connect with these two So this one comes here This one comes here And we have power Yeah, that one our own Let's see now if I have signal here. Oh, it's very sensitive. Well, looks like we have also signal here. Should be this one, one channel. No, this one, one channel. Yeah, this one, the other channel. Yeah, going good. Let's try now to find a non non copyrighted song in YouTube and to see how that sound. But the noise you can because it's not uh, you should have the potentiometer there in order to to eliminate this to eliminate this uh, this noisy so let me just uh, check non copyrighted music okay just a second because I saw another one Okay, let's have a look what we have here to try. So let me just bring the output from my PC to the input of this one. And now we have quite quite system. Lower the volume here. High a bit from the potentiometer. Put the balance on middle. So let's see this. Uh, non copyrighted music. Some noise. Let's see what other type of music. 
some non copyrighted music. Let's have a look. Something else. Maybe this one. Sound is really nice, really pure. I'm really happy with that one, works really good, so my work is worth, so I don't solder those ones for nothing, so it looks like it's working good, so let me just uh, stop everything here, sound stop, amplifier switch it off, the vacuum amplifier switch it off, take power from this one, That's it, put the total level down. And yes, I'm really, really so happy how, how, how pure is the sound. And I really recommend to try that one. And as I can see in that, uh, mailbag video that I posted a few days ago. If you don't see it yet, it's just, uh, we're gonna attach it over here. We're gonna attach it over there. We're gonna see very cheap one. It was like three pounds something, the kit, plus two pounds and six P I believe, for, for the shipping from China to here, through AliExpress. And I'm really so impressed how the sound performed. So now I need to design how it will gonna be my amplifier. So one hour gonna save the PCB boards that I designed for this amplifier that has uh, 40 watts. So it will gonna be two times 40 watts. So I designed this uh, a PCB board for this one in stereo version. So it will gonna be two channels, and with this. Uh, Four transistor, two per channels, two and two. And I'm gonna receive that PCB board. I'm gonna start to solder everything in place and try to put them together. And I'm gonna try to build a case. Well, I have a case around here, and I think I'm gonna try to adapt it for for this uh, this uh, hybrid amplifier that I'm doing with the preamplifier here and the vacuum tubes, and then the final stage on transistors so yes please uh, subscribe 
activate the notification bell like that you're gonna receive uh, notification when I'm gonna post the video when I'm starting to build the final stage with the transistors when I'm gonna receive the PCB board from uh, from GLC PCB uh, from GLC PCB yeah I can also show that uh, that uh, design that I made just let's go to my computer to check this is the PCB board that I designed for the amplifier so I have here the, the transistors that they come to the heatsink I may decide that I maybe I'm gonna try to use the tip 3055 on the package 20247 that I can solder straight away on the on the PCB board and then mount them a heatsink over here and let's have a look how it's gonna look on the 3D view 